Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Sin Biotechnology Association. Today we are going to discuss on wine production. The image of wine as a harmonious blend of nature, art and science that invites attention between tradition and innovation. In the business of making wine is greater that brought into play by the potential afforded by 21st century grape and wine biotechnology. Fermentation is biotechnology in which desirable microorganisms are used in the production of value-added products to commercial importance. The making of wines and beers use this biotechnology under controlled conditions. So uh, let's start with the intro of wine. Wine making or vinification is the production of wine starting with the selection of fruit, its fermentation into alcohol and bottling to the finished liquid. In this presentation we will mainly focus on grape wine. An alcoholic drink that is made from fermented grape juice. Grape wine is produced by fermenting crushed grapes by using various types of yeast. There are a lot of types of wines but we are going to discuss grape wines of red wine and white wine. Red wine is a type of wine made of dark colored grape variety. The actual color of the wine can range from intense violet, typical of young wines, through to brick red for mature wines and brown for older red wines. Likewise, white wine is the wine that is fermented without skin contact. White wine is mainly from white grapes which are green or yellow in color. Now we will discuss about the health benefit of wine. It contains antioxidants. The grapes are rich in antioxidant. Antioxidants are the compound that prevents cellular damage caused by inflammation and oxidative stress. The oxidative stress is a condition caused by imbalance between antioxidants and unstable molecules called free radical which can damage your cells. It helps to boost your immunity. A wine can be very beneficial for uh, boosting your metabolism and it helps in the effectiveness of vaccinations. It helps in fighting inflammation. Coronic inflammation is harmful and may increase the risk of conditions such as heart attack, heart diseases, autoimmune diseases and certain type of cancer. Therefore, it is best to prevent this type of inflammation. It helps to reduce the risk of stroke. Studies show that individuals who consume moderate amount of wine have reduced rate of heart diseases. It may promote healthy gut bacteria. Recent studies have suggested that red wine may promote the growth of beneficial gut bacteria, which may improve metabolic syndromes marker in people with obesity. Here are the steps which are taken in consideration while producing wine. Viticulture, harvesting, stemming, crushing, fermentation, draining, pressing, mixing, clarification, aging, and bottling. We will discuss one by one each step. Viticulture. Viticulture or wine growing is the 
cultivation and harvesting of the grapes which is done in the fields it is a branch of the science of horticulture the factors which influence the cultivation of grapes are climate of the yard sun exposure and soil quality the next one is harvesting the harvesting of wine grape is one of the most crucial steps in the process of wine making the time of harvest is determined by ripeness of the grape as it is measured by the concentration of sugar and acid present in it grapes are picked up either by hand or mechanically then we proceed towards stemming and crushing stemming is the separation of stems and grapes which are sent to the press and crushing it is a horizontal press squeeze the broken grapes separating the fresh juice from the skin after crushing start the pro fermentation process the fermentation process in wine making turn grape juice into alcoholic beverage by putting grape juice into a container at the right temperature adding yeast turn the sugar in the juice into alcohol and carbon dioxide the grape juice will ferment then comes the process of draining the purpose of draining and pressing is to separate wine from skin during fermentation carbon dioxide produced by the yeast floats the skin to the top of tank forming a mass of grape called cap pressing the remaining pulp after draining is pressed to squeeze out the pressed wine this is when you will see a winery pull out of the grape presses and start pressing the wine must the must is dumped into the pressing basket and immediately free run juice will start flowing from the grape press spout mixing the free run wine and press wine always from the same source they are mixed together in very balance and appropriate ratio to get the desired balance the next step is clarification in wine making clarification and stabilization are the process by which insoluble matter suspended in the wine is removed before bottling clarification and stabilization may involve thinning filtration centrifugation flotation refrigeration pasteurization or barrel maturation and racking then comes the process of aging that is the final stage in vinification wine aging refers to a group of reaction that tend to improve the taste and flavor of wine over a time the term wine maturation refers to change in wine after fermentation and before bottling the last stage of wine production is bottling a dose of sulfide is added to help preserve the wine and prevent unwanted fermentation in the bottle the wine bottles are then traditionally sealed with a cork here is a simple diagram of wine production that how we harvest crush ferment press aging finishing and bottling of the wine so that's all for today lecture i hope you like the video Thank you so much.